Hey there guys, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 level design essential series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can start to paint on your landscape. So we are going to be showing you how you can add the different textures and use the brush to place them wherever you need to place them. Now in the last video we set up a landscape material which essentially allows us to tell the engine which materials or which textures rather should be used in our landscape and what we're going to be focusing on today's video is painting those individual textures from a layer onto our landscape. So if you haven't watched the last video already, I definitely advise you check it out as you will need to have this landscape material. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. So the first thing that you need to do before you can start painting on your material is you need to assign it to your landscape. Now we have got a landscape already, so what I'm gonna do is just click this to select it and then in the details panel, I am going to hook this up to my landscape material. So I'm just gonna press use selected asset from content browser with my landscape material selected. And then you are going to notice it is going to turn the whole landscape black. Now, this is not an issue. The reason why it has gone black is because the engine currently does not have any layer information on it. So it doesn't know whether or not it should display any of those three textures that we have put into our material. So having said that, what we need to do is we need to create some layer information for each of those different layers, so the grass, the dirt and the rock, and then from there we can begin painting on it. So go over to your landscape mode, and then within this landscape mode, just go to the painting mode, and you can see if you scroll down we have three different layers, or if you do have additional layers, you are going to see them all in here. However, for me, that is grass dirt and rock and in a moment we'll be able to paint these onto our landscape. So what I'm going to do is I need to create some layer information and doing it is really simple. This layer information is just telling the engine where this layer should be placed on our landscape essentially. And for this we need to make a file for it and doing that is just press the little plus icon here for create layer info and then just create a weight blended layer normal and then for the location you can just leave it where it is at the moment which is it within the map shared assets and then press ok so now the engine has some information on where it should be placed and you're going to notice that first layer is going to be automatically assigned to the whole of the landscape so it's gone green here because it is now grass what I need to do is then create some more weight uh, blended layer information for the other layers so for the dirt and also for the rock here and then press OK and that is it and now we are ready to start painting and painting is really really simple you should recognize a lot of the tools from the sculpting mode and what I mean by that is you have a brush and this brush is going to be your way of painting the different layers on there and you're going to be doing this with weights so let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not going to go through and explain each one of these different settings straight away. I'm going to more, I'm going to focus on the concept of painting with a brush. So the first thing I'm going to do is have my tool strength all the way up. So it's quite a nice thick brush. And then with my brush size, you can turn this up. You can turn this down to change the size. It's entirely up to you. And then the, fush, uh, the brush fall off is basically the smooth, uh, smoothness. So do you want some smoothing between uh, the center point and the outer point? It's entirely up to you. Personally, I do like to have a bit of smoothing. So let me show you the difference. So if I left click to paint on a little bit, you're going to notice the center has gone into my dirt layer, which I had selected. And around that, it's just smoothed and it's eased out and it's quite easy on the eye. It's more natural. However, if I have my brush fall off all the way down to zero and then just click once, you are going to have a very solid brush and it's just not going to look natural. So that's where you need to use the fall off. You've got to be careful with that. However, what you can do to fix that is with the paint and then if you go into the smoothing mode, you can smooth this out. And to do this, to have a bit more accuracy, you might want to turn your brush size down a little bit and normally I like to have my fall off 
around the center like this. And what I can do is smooth between the two pieces of information we've got there and then just left click and drag to smooth those areas and it's going to smooth the brushes and it looks a little bit like this. Now the other tool that we have available to us is our flatten tool and the flatten tool is basically going to get the, the weight information of the target area and then wherever you drag it out to it's going to keep on placing that weight information. So let me show you, so if I grab from the edge here where it's got a bit of a fade, where it's a bit of both, left click and then drag you're, and you're going to see that it's going to take that information and move it wherever the brush goes and that was from the faded area. If I was to do it from the center, it's going to grab the information from the center, which has a bit more dirt in it, and drag it out. You're gonna see that dirt comes out with it there as well. And then you've also got your no noise tool, um, but generally I don't really like to use this when it comes to using landscapes. What you might wanna do for this is working with things like rocks and stuff. So it's just gonna give you a bit of variation and then you can sculpt it out. It's entirely up to you. But the main thing, the most important thing that you guys need to know is how to use these three tools here. So paint, smooth and flatten with paint being the main one. All you've got to do to paint on a particular layer is just select the layer, left click and drag and you can see now I can paint either rock, I can paint dirt and then I can paint grass. It is entirely up to you. Painting your landscape inside of Unreal Engine 4 is really, really easy. Now, one thing that you might want to do when you're working with landscape editing in Unreal Engine 4 is turn your camera speed all the way up to 8 and that way you can fly out really easy, get around and if it's a brand new landscape, what you might want to do is go all the way up from the top and then, for example, you might want to turn your brush size up and then just put some rocks on for some mountains that you might want to sculpt out later on. It's entirely up to you, so I'm just going to paint some around the edge we'll sculpt those later on but it just goes to show you some of the tools and the techniques that we have available to us so use your camera speed wisely use your smoothing and all of that good stuff it's entirely up to you what I am going to do is quickly just fill in this little lake thing that I've got here with some dirt so I'm going to turn down my brush size quite a bit select my dirt and then just paint it on just like this and you're going to see it fills up quite nicely and if I use the right amount of fall off you're gonna see it's quite smooth and when you do get close up just turn that camera speed back down but you can see here it's coming out smooth around the edges and I do quite quite like that <clears throat> cool so there is one other thing that I need you guys to know when you are working with some landscape editing is if we go and look at the ground at the moment you can see it looks quite tiled so you can see it's just repeating the same grass texture over and over and over again and you're seeing this really easy because it's quite small you're seeing more of that tiling so what you might want to do is just go into your material so into your starter content materials, landscape material or wherever you placed it and just use your landscape coordinates to scale all of your textures and that's why I created this earlier. This is linked up to my normal for all three of the different layers and if I adjust this it is going to change the scale on all three of these. So what I'm going to do is to make this look a little bit less tiled. So if I look at this dirt here you can see it's very repeated. In my material, if I set the mapping scale to 5 and then press apply to apply those changes, give it a couple of seconds, and then if I minimize this, you're going to see it's going to compile. Now, it's going to give you this checkerboarded effect, and sometimes it will do this when it's painting too. That is absolutely not an issue. <clears throat> It's just the engine is currently compiling the, uh, the shaders, the materials, so it knows how to display it. So sometimes this can take a minute, sometimes it can take 30 seconds. It just depends on the complexity of the job and obviously the performance of your computer. So what I'm going to do is pause the video for just a second, wait for it to finish compiling the shaders and we're good. 
So you can see it's done it now, and now that I've changed it to 5, the textures have got a little bit bigger, so you can see all of the detail, which is quite nice, and it's just going to make it look a little bit more realistic, but overall, I am really happy with the way that my landscape has come out. So what I want you guys to do is play around with the different tools and the techniques that I've mentioned, and just make a really, really cool landscape. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.